so this is our three point uh, saddle band it looks uh, very nice and uh, it is a uh, very uh, good uh, and uh, straight bend and uh, yeah this is uh, this is the way we uh, do a bend hi i'm here back with uh, another video today and this video is uh, doing a three point saddle bend and uh, last video we did a 30 degree offset bend and now you guys asked me to uh, do a three point saddle bend and uh, to make a three point saddle bend is uh, very easy and only we need a little bit of attention and uh, we can do that uh, easily a three point saddle bend so let's uh, uh, let's do it uh, i'll explain you on the chart that uh, how this uh, three point saddle bend uh, works so three point saddle bend uh, is uh, is very easy so for example we got a pipe that is our pipe and on the pipe we have to do a three marks the first mark we did on we do on the center of the pipe and the second mark we do uh, from center to the uh, front of the pipe uh, to this side. And the third mark we do on the other side. Now, how we do this calculation? All right, so three point saddle bend. Three point saddle bend uh, uh, is uh, very easy. Uh, the pipe we have on the pipe, we need obviously three marks. The first mark uh, we'll do in the center of the pipe and the second mark to the other side of the center mark to the front and the third mark we'll do to next to the center mark. Now how this does work, uh, first bend which is on the center, 45 degree bend that's going to be a saddle match. I'll show you the saddle match on the uh, uh, bender's shoe. Uh, first bend saddle match 45 degree and the second bend we are doing a 22 degree so the second bend will do a 22 degree and the third bend we will also do a 22 degree now let's say we got an obstacle, obstacle. the obstacle is about a two inch so two inch obstacle mean uh, how we do it how the formula works so uh, uh, 2 inch obstacle mean if the pipe height is a 2 inch so 2 multiply 2.5 so we are taking for the 3 point saddle band uh, formula 2.5 so 2 multiply 2.5 equal to 5 inch so how is going to work so let's say uh, obstruction height multiply 2.5 equal to mark B and then mark C so let's say uh, A, the first bend is a 45 degree to rim notch. So the first bend we will do a 45 degree to rim notch. And the second bend 22 degree to bend mark. And then the third bend 22 degree to bend mark. How it's going to work, I'll just do the measurement with you on the, on the pipe. And then we see how this works. So an example, an example we have this pipe and that's a PVC pipe and the PVC, this pipe, its height is uh, about uh, 2 inches, As you see, that is a height, is a 2 inch height, that pipe, right, so this is for example in our way and uh, so now we know that the pipe height is what, 2 inches, right, so 2 inches is a pipe height and our pipe is here and now what we do we have our uh, conduit that we're going to bend this is a half inch uh, conduit uh, what we're going to do we just uh, center this uh, conduit and just make a mark here so for example my conduit is my conduit is what? It's about uh, 60 inches, right? So that means I'll put a first mark in the middle of the conduit on 30 inches, right? So 30 inches, I will make a mark here. So 30 inches is right here. I'm, I'm using this Sharpie just for uh, just for educational purpose, but normally we use uh, the pencil. 
So the first mark is here and then uh, I'll make this mark a little round. Okay, just to make round so we can easily uh, put on the rim notch. And then second mark because our pipe is 2 inches. So as we did the formula here, so 2 multiply 2.5 equal to 5 inches. So now the, the first, the second mark is going to be on the 5 inches. So it's right here. Okay. And then third mark is also going to be 5 inches to this side. Now, now we got the first mark. We'll just make a little bit round so we can easily put on the bender's arrow. Alright, so now we got our three marks. Okay, and we got our three marks the first center mark, and then the second mark is a five inch, and then the third mark is a five inch. So now we Let's see, I'll show you how to bend it. Alright, so we'll uh, put our conduit in our uh, bender shoe. So, here, that is a notch. You can see it. That is a notch where we do a 45 degree. So, I'm just going to do my conduit again. And I'll make sure that I make my line to the middle, right over here to the rim notch. See that rim notch? exactly over here so i'm gonna bend this to a 45 and i'm just gonna bend it down to 45 here and you see this is a 45 i'm gonna bend to the 45 okay so i'm bending to 45 okay it's 30. More, more, a little bit more. Yeah, so this is a 45 now. You see that 45 bend? Now I'm gonna do a next bend. So the next bend, I'm just gonna turn it, turn it like this. And then now I'm gonna do my next bend to the arrow. So that is the arrow. Okay, so this is the arrow. The next bend is gonna be to the arrow, not to the notch. So this will, we will bend to where? We'll bend to that our 22 degree. So I'll just make sure this, that this is straight. And uh, just wanna see if this is a straight and make sure, double check if this is straight. Now I'm gonna do the second bend and that bend we bending to the uh, 22 degree right here. So I'm gonna bend this. So a little bit more. Yeah, that's 22 degree. Now this bend is done, and then before I do that other bend, I'll just check it if there is that is kind of straight. Right, that's kind of straight here. Right, it looks straight. Now I'm gonna do the other bend. So I'll turn the pipe other side, and then I'll put it again. And then when I do this here, I'll just rotate it exactly to my arrow. And that's exactly to the arrow. Now I'll see if there is no any dog lag. So I just want to see that the pipe is kind of straight. This side and this side, it must be a straight. And now I'm going to do my third bend to 22 degrees. So 22 is here. So I'm going to bend it. Bend it. Look like it's almost 22 degree. All right, so now I'm gonna take it and check my band. And if I have to do a little bit tweak, that's fine. 
So this looks straight and I'm just going to check it here if this is flat. So it's a little bit, a little bit higher from this side and also higher from this side. And now this is the point we can fix it. To fix it, just do it a little bit and I will just bend it down a little bit. Check it. This kind of better. And I'll do the same this side. So just put it in and then I will make sure that there is no dog leg and I'll fix it. Go back and then just a little bit down. Right. So that's pretty much. And then I can do a little bit bend from this side. Because you know it's all you need a little bit of practice. And once you do a practice, you can do a very good bend. See, it's look nice. Okay. So it's look very nice and uh, I'll just double check it if there's no dog leg maybe the camera I cannot see it right so there is no dog leg a little bit that side so I always can do I'll just push it a little bit and take my leg straight this look nice you know it's it's a half inch conduit and it's good now let me check on the pipe so sometimes uh, some electricians they want to do a pretty tight but I'll just, I just keep a, a little bit gap so if they have to take the pipe out they can take it out and uh, this is the way uh, it's not a hundred percent perfect but uh, you know doesn't hurt if you uh, if you just go out pick up some pipe from Home Depot or uh, or uh, you know or scrap from your job site but not bring a full length but just a scrap pipe and bring and do the practice and this is the way we do so this is our three point uh, saddle band it looks uh, very nice and uh, it is a uh, very uh, good uh, and uh, straight bend and uh, yeah this is uh, this is the way we uh, do a bend yeah i hope you uh, like my uh, three point saddle band and um, i'll try to bring more videos uh, uh, hope you like it and uh, this is kind of free so make sure that you uh, uh, drop some comments and uh, like and subscribe and I'll come back with another video too thank you very much and have a nice day bye